Speaking of which, packing up and moving out, Harper will soon be welcoming a new baby into her life. As her current university housing doesn't have the necessary resources to give the child the best care, blah blah blah, Harper should spend some time packing up her stuff and find a better place for her and her upcoming baby to live. Oh my god. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> I have evil plans today. Welcome everyone to the wheel spin of doom challenge. Now if you've missed the past few parts, for a quick recap, my sim, who is a university student, has been kind of messing around with some other boys that aren't her boyfriend. Nothing too serious, like she didn't do anything bad, but she did flirt with them. And then she found out she was pregnant with her high school sweetheart's baby, even though she's kind of been cheating on him for like weeks. She failed her first semester, <laughs> she's in her second semester. She's a little bit stressed, got a lot going on, and today it's about to get worse because I'm gonna spin the wheel twice. Number one, we're gonna spin for like the classic what's gonna happen today, you know, are we gonna get cheated on, who knows. But number two, we're gonna find out what the baby is. So, <laughs> please God, don't give me twins. I, I would do anything to not have twins. But I loaded into the save and Harper was at the library and it's 4.30 on a Saturday morning and I was like, you know what? If you wanna stay up until 4.30 or wake up at 4.30 and work on your term paper, then you get up and work on your term paper, honestly, because you have a lot of work to do and, and you're not doing so well. You also have a lot of money to earn because you can't afford a place to live and you're gonna leave your dorm very soon because they're gonna kick you out. So if you wanna work on this, absolutely go for it. But like I said, we have a wheel today with three options on it. Number one, our mom finds out we're pregnant and is absolutely furious. Now, her mom, Dylan, is a great lady. I did a whole Let's Play with her. However, I do feel like she wouldn't be so happy about this situation because one, Harper has confessed her you know, doubts about her relationship with Bryce to her mom and has told her she's been kind of flirting with other guys. She's also really young, has no money, <laughs> and is absolutely not in a good place financially or emotionally to be having a child. So I feel like her mom could find out and be livid. I mean, she'll grow to accept the baby and love it, but doesn't mean she can be happy about it right now. So that could um, put a strain on their relationship, I think. <laughs> Plus, Harper's kind of been lying about it for a while. I mean, she's in her second trimester now and she hasn't even told her mom about it yet. Number two, her boyfriend and baby daddy Bryce could find out she's been cheating on him. He could like hear it through the grapevine. Maybe he runs into Grady somewhere. So that wouldn't be ideal. <laughs> or number three, we could finally drop this Grady business. We tell Mason, we tell Frankie, we... <laughs> We tell Grady that it's over, we're done. And like, it, it is over. She hasn't been doing anything with them in a while, but I feel like she needs to be like, you know what, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have flirted with you. I'm sorry if I led you on. I have a boyfriend and I'm pregnant with his baby. <laughs> so she can clear up all of that. Still won't tell Bryce about it, but at least she could end those things. So those are our three wheel options today. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it. Oh! <laughs> I'm scared to look. Oh no. One. Our mom is going to find out that she's pregnant and be furious. Okay, so I guess we'll spend the evening at her mother's house. <laughs> no, I feel bad now. I don't want her mom to hate her. At least she has her dad, right? How much longer do you have to work on this paper for? My goodness. At least we can get breakfast soon. Oh, not until seven. Well, at least the lady's here. Kristen is on it, she's ready. <laughs> oh, I finished a draft, okay, good. Well, I guess you can use the bathroom and then grab some food. That's the one nice thing about coming here at 4 a.m. is that no one's around. So she can work in the nice peace and quiet of, of the library. Wait, this is this is the commons, not the library. It's my bad, <laughs> sorry. What are you doing? Don't order food from there, you're getting it from here. It's free here, you need to save your money, you have a baby coming. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I might have her edit the term paper too. Cause we didn't like practice or edit our other paper at all. I mean the presentation, we didn't practice it or anything, we just did it. So she like half did a presentation. The least she could do is work on this better. Debate showdown judge is Amber Aaron, our roommate? Why? I mean, we probably could go to the debate showdown, honestly. We <laughs> oh, the computer broke, that's annoying. <laughs> is it gonna get automatically repaired or am I gonna have to do it myself? Because that's- What are you wearing? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> okay, well, she's debating somebody. Maybe it'll work well. Yeah, you suck, Delphina. I'm gonna crush you. <laughs> the statue being yarn bombed is a nice touch, honestly. I'm looking great. <gasps> oh, did I win? Oh, no, I didn't. Where'd the money come from? You know what? That's fine. <laughs> Pay me all you want, okay? I'm, I don't care. I will absolutely take that money. I am not- I am not here to complain about that money. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah. Poor girl is miserable. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Are there even computers in this building or do we have to leave to use one because we don't have a laptop anymore? Oh my god. <laughs> I just made her watch the Kids Network by accident, but honestly, maybe it's kind of fitting. <laughs> 
<laughs> you might need to, to get used to that one, huh? Oh, it's our friend Frankie. Purely our friend. <laughs> We're just friends. Honestly, they can just be friends. I Maybe he had a crush on her in the beginning, but that doesn't mean that they can't be friends now. There's no romantic relationship at all. Discuss fitness techniques. Oh boy. I can't believe- I can't believe she's this pregnant and still living in a dorm. I mean, I'm grateful we haven't been kicked out yet because we can't afford anywhere else to go, but still. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, you need to take a nap or something, kid, because you're miserable and not doing well, and you're going to your mom's house for dinner tonight, so. You know what? Maybe we could have her call her mom. If we- if we send her a- a chat. <laughs> if we call her up. Oh, it's 8- it's 8 p.m. That's my bad. I didn't realize it got so late. We have to go, like, straight there now. If we just call her up first, and we're like, hey, mom, guess what? <laughs> Don't know how to tell you this, but... <laughs> this is not good that her mom is not happy about this. Well, we should have her go home then. At least we can get a nice home-cooked meal. <laughs> Saw you heading out. You followed me to my parents' house? You know what? Maybe it's a good- Okay, she looks angry. Maybe we asked her to come with us because we were nervous. <laughs> this is her best friend at school. It, may it makes sense. Kind of weird, but it makes sense. Okay, step one. I'm cooking myself some dinner. I don't even care. Okay, I want tofu tacos. That sounds really good in real life. I want tofu tacos. Are you serious? Are, are you like actually serious right now? <laughs> Look. First of all, her mom is bald right now, which is hilarious. <laughs> They look so similar. Weird. I mean, I'm not surprised, but honestly, the fact that she did this, you can't even cook. No wonder your mom's so mad at you. <laughs> oh, at least you have pickle. Oh dear. At least you've got pickles. <laughs> this is a complete and total nightmare. You know what? I bet, and the thing is, I don't think that was, I mean, it was an accident, but like, I think she did a dumb, dumb move with that. I think she like started cooking and left it on the stove too long and started a fire. And her mom was like, are you serious? And her mom was really unhappy with her. One, for being so unsafe when she's pregnant, but two, for being pregnant. Um, so we're just gonna go home. That is not really how I expected this evening to go. But I, I feel like her family's not so pleased with her right now. Plus, um, we can't afford to fix their ovens. So, I don't know what to do about that for you, mom. You're kinda- you're kinda stuck there. Alright, you know what? Have a microwave quick meal. Just get some oatmeal, okay? Just make yourself some oatmeal. I used to do this a lot in college. I would get hungry at like 11 o'clock and I was like, you know what I have? Microwavable oatmeal. And then I- I mean, that's dinner right there. <laughs> I say in college like I'm not in college anymore, but I mean when I lived in the dorm because I have a real kitchen now, so it's not much of a problem, but... Okay, great meal. High quality, very healthy. Just go to sleep, okay? I- we got- we got some work to do in the morning. How pregnant is she? Third trimester in three hours! When is it gonna kick her out? I'm nervous. <laughs> we can't afford any of this. And she's gonna wake up super early again. Oh, speaking of which, packing up and moving out. Harper will soon be welcoming a new baby into her life. As her current university housing doesn't have the necessary resources to give the child the best care, blah blah blah, Harper should spend some time packing up her stuff and find a better place for her and her upcoming baby to live. Oh my god. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's fine. All right, let's just make sure we pack up all of our things really quickly. How much time do we have? Three and a half hours? Okay, that's fine. Maybe we could sell our mini fridge? Let's try and keep all of our decorations. At least keep the things that we- like the rug. This is her stuff, so I won't take any of her things, but I'll take my things. I will keep my stuff. Okay, we have some furniture, so we should be all right. Oh, this is so- this is so sad. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it happens. Grab some cheese crackers, I guess, then, kiddo. No, wake up. You don't have much time left. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> is there anything else I can snatch while I'm here? Can I take this? No. Well, do I even know you? I didn't make her. Some of my roommates have been replaced with randoms. <laughs> Guys, I'm really sad right now. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna go. I think we might move in with Bryce, uh, wherever he lives. Oh, it's fall. How great. Should we like wake up anyone to tell them like, hey, sorry, you know what? No, we won't because we don't want to be seen. I don't think she wants anyone anyone to know that she has to leave. So I feel like she only has an hour and 22 minutes. You know what? We just, we can just go. I'm done packing up. Get me out of here. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> Where is she going to go? Um... I think Bryce lives somewhere in San Myshuno. I don't know where though. This is where her dad lives. <laughs> He's got triplets. We can't fit in there. He's got a one bedroom apartment for triplets. Then where does Bryce lives maybe here with his sister. That is an enormous apartment. This is where uh, we used to live with Dylan when, oh, you know what? No, we'll move in with Bryce and his sister temporarily. And then once we get a little bit more money, I think we'll, um, we'll, we'll buy the same place that Dylan used to live in. 
when Harper was born. Because I think that would be fun. <laughs> okay. Well, sure is something here, huh? At least there's a bedroom for the kid. I feel like this is this is an apartment that is his sister's apartment. It's very much not Bryce's place. Oh, she's trying to do her homework right now. I forgot we had homework to do. Oh no. Is there a computer in this place? There is. Okay, we can use that for our term paper. That'll be good. Okay, this is the one with the- Is there only one bathroom here? What a weird apartment. It's enormous, but odd. She's definitely made some choices in her furnishing. Okay, well, while we're here, we can just pretend that she went to a doctor's appointment and found out what the baby was. And by that, I mean we're gonna spin the wheel to find out. So, of course, number one, it's a boy. Number two, it's a girl. Or, number three, it's twins. Let's find out. <laughs> I don't want twins. This is uh, this could be this could end really badly for us. Um, okay. I am. Um, <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Oh, Harper, I'm so sorry. Oh, Harper, no. Specify offspring count two. Okay, I'm I'm closing my eyes. I don't want to see what it is. <sighs> hey, Editor Dan, can you please cover that so none of us know what the what, what the offspring is? Thank you. It's gonna be a surprise, but um, it's two of them. So there's that. Oh, hey. Allie came to talk to us. We should probably, like, get to know her a little bit. She has been very kind to take us into her place. Uh, she definitely does not need to have us living here, as well as our upcoming child, as the game would say. <laughs> Thank you for letting me stay here. I'm so... <laughs> I don't have any money, Allie. Okay, speaking of money, though, let's try and, um, save up some. Because we can sell all those things we took with us from the dorm. Including, like, this little buddy, this little buddy. I want to keep my decorations, but, like, that's a little bit of money. That's all right. Definitely could be better, but <laughs> this is what we're stuck with right now. Okay, guys, can you leave me alone so I can study? I'm sorry. I, um, I appreciate you letting me stay here, but I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> do you think she should have to get a part-time job? I mean, like, I know we said we were going to have her just paint for money, and that's probably the best bet. The flea market's in town. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we should definitely go to that. Let's go to it with Bryce. We need to buy some stuff for... Oh, Amber wants to go. Oh, yeah, let's go with Amber and Bryce. I'm glad... You know what? I'm really glad Amber reached out and tried to bring us. <laughs> I know that sounds really lame, but, like... I was kind of sad that we had to leave her, but it means a lot that Amber is like, Hey, I'm sorry this is happening to you. Uh, do you want to go to the flea market and try and get some good deals? <laughs> because yes, Amber, I do want to go to the flea market and try and get some good deals. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Invite her to feel the baby. Yeah, 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 that's good. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm glad they have now a good roommate relationship because um, in the beginning she hated us. So I, I feel like Harper deserves better than that. Oh, poor girl. You poor, poor thing. Okay. Can you like grab a poster while you're here, maybe? And then as far as furniture goes, I mean, like, this sofa, probably a good, good bet for us. This is kind of a nice lamp. We could snatch these two chairs. I mean, we're gonna have an unfurnished apartment. So, like, we need to think logically about this. <laughs> Buy what we can while we can. Let's sell that poster we just got. Yeah, kiddo, you come snatch all these things, okay? Very nice. <laughs> oh, it's Mindy. This is her stepmom. Feel my baby. <laughs> okay. We did some shopping. I feel like now is probably a really good time for us to go to the library and like grind out the rest of our homework because if the baby's gonna be here, we are not gonna have time to do that when she's here. At least Bryce is working. So at least we have that income. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I also really don't think these two are ready to live together. So I guess we'll figure it out. Luckily, we can still go to the library. We went, we went up, we might not be living on campus anymore, but at least we can still like drop in from time to time. I mean, she will have class here every day. So <laughs> I left my homework at home. I am the biggest giant idiot dummy there's ever been. I'm so stupid. Okay, can I order a book online? Purchase books, <sighs> university textbooks. Uh oh, homework books. False alarm. We got it. It's fine. <laughs> I almost just like started crying. Okay. Do your homework, kid. You got a lot of stuff to do. What are you You're just gonna stand out here? What is wrong with you? You- I'm embarrassed to, to have you as my sim. Absolute giant mess. All around mess. Who's having twins? Oh god. I'm sorry. Just remember. Why do bad things happen to good people? I don't deserve this. I'm fine. 
okay? I'm totally fine. <laughs> Honestly, kind of weird that you guys came and sat next to me like this. Oh, Allie's a criminal. That's good. So that's how she affords the giant apartment by herself. Okay, I get it. Right. Look, she's miserable and hungry and tired, but you haven't done your homework yet, so you have to finish it. I don't make the rules, okay? 196 simoleons. Okay. Absolutely worthless. <laughs> that is not enough money to buy an apartment. She has done homework literally all day. <laughs> this poor sim. Okay, well. Make loan payment. Oh god, I forgot. I forgot about our student loans. Did her dad really just invite her to a crazy party? <laughs> Leave me alone. I have babies on the way. Oh, we haven't told her dad yet either. This is a nightmare. <laughs> we probably should have. Don't talk to me. I have a paper to write. Okay, I can't can't edit it anymore. So that means we can submit our term paper. Thank God. <laughs> did it work? Okay, we did it. Now we can go home. Don't sleep on the bench outside. I'm so sorry, Harper. This isn't what you deserve. <laughs> Do you want to try to like not set anything on fire this time, Harper, or what? <laughs> because I don't trust you. Here, you know what, Bryce? Make yourself useful. Serve dinner. Vegetable dumplings, that sounds good. Okay, he has the party animal aspiration, which we knew. He's in the fitness career, level three. I mean, he's a decent guy. My poor Sam. I'm sorry, sweetie. <laughs> you deserve better than this. Allie, are you serious? Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna cheat Allie's career because there is no way. We have what, 4,778 simoleons. There, I gave her a higher... <laughs> I have to put my money back to what it was. Because it just makes more sense if she's like, what, level six? Yeah. They're, the only way she could afford this nice apartment is if she was. I mean, it's the rent's like 1200 a week and she makes 63 simoleons a day. You can't afford that and you should be able to. You powerful, wonderful lady. <gasps> what time is class? 1.30 and 3. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I almost just got so stressed. Oh, that's right. This lot has the Penny Pixies lot trait, so we just find money sometimes. I am not complaining about that. What are we going to do, Bryce? <laughs> Plus, the baby could come literally any second, which is really stressful, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, Allie, you don't need to sleep in there. You have your own room. Allie. Oh, Allie, sweetie. I'm sorry. I know I came into your home and, and interrupted your flow here, but like, you do have your own room, you know? Okay, luckily, they're feeling a lot better, so we can all go to sleep now, which is the good news. Oh my god. Allie has a relationship with the landlord. Oh my god. I can't. Hmm. Going into labor- Okay, you know what? For the sake of uh, your pain and suffering, I'm gonna cut the part off here. You're not gonna find out what it is until next part <laughs> because we we too much has happened today. Okay, it's been too much already. We can't, we can't have babies too. Well, this is our our current living situation. I think we might try and buy this place. Uh, it's really small. It's only one bedroom, so it's actually not a good idea. But if we could renovate it, maybe I can make it work for us. So we'll see. We probably need a bigger apartment. We need we need at least a two bedroom place. Maybe I'll find one. I mean, if we move in over this way, maybe into this apartment, our dad lives right next door. It's much cheaper. It's kind of a bad apartment, but that's okay. <laughs> Plus Harper grew up in this place. She lived here for a while. So maybe it's nostalgic for her to move in this to this one. We'll see. <laughs> But like I said, I'm gonna cut off right here, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And also put some baby name suggestions in the comments for me because we have a couple babies to name. And um, these babies might end up being heirs to a new legacy or Let's Play or something in the distant future. Because, I mean, Gen 5. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye. I can't believe she has to have twins. I'm so stressed. We, we can't afford this. We don't have time for this. Oh God.